and therefore uh, operator overloading is very very tedious it, it's 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 very uh, detailed uh, very specific as you can see the syntax is is kind of creepy with all of these uh, you know sometimes using references deciding which type to return uh, with the with the operators themselves but nevertheless uh, this would be just uh, another version of it to define it as uh, it, to define f this version of comparison uh, uh, rational with double and so uh, you know deciding that you want to allow comparison of rational with double this way actually mandates apparently that you should also provide this version so you're actually overloading not one operator but you know two versions of it uh, so that you allow something like this to happen so again uh, perhaps a lot of copying and pasting uh, taking place so I'm just going to copy and paste this and guess what uh, just uh, be careful uh, swap this right so it's just uh, this and this in the in the reversed order and then what I should be doing is exactly what the user is trying to do compare the value to the rational uh, converted to to double and that should be the implementation so the good thing is that typically the implementation especially with numeric types that don't do anything crazy but some very basic arithmetic manipulation like this it's very simple so um, also notice something like this if the left hand side version is not rational this cannot be overloaded as member of our class it can only be overloaded as non-member which we just did and that's another a reason why in many cases you want to uh, you want to overload your operators as non-members because this gives you a chance to uniformly def define uh, these functions right next to each other as non-member functions because right in this case we could use a uh, member version of the uh, of the uh, uh, overloaded operator because our left hand side was our, our object right our object was the the left hand side this was the right hand side and that that was possible but with this version where the left hand side is double and rational is on the other side there is no way to do this through the member overloaded operator so just to let you know that this is the uh, uh, the, 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 the situation uh, with which we have to deal with and uh, mm, again uh, it's, it's, uh, it's very tedious so uh, typically overloading operators means writing a lot of little functions like this those all have to become friend functions? Uh, no uh, it doesn't have to be a friend unless it needs to access private remember this allows the, this guy to access private member okay. data members okay. yeah so that's why those guys don't have function. to be because because they use function call and this function call is uh, uh, public right, right. so okay. doesn't have to be friend they can be declared as, as friends but absolutely unnecessary you probably add friends only as absolutely necessary a good question though like how come we didn't make those friends so again let's make sure we can build everything and and uh, uh, move on so let's see what what uh, what uh, this says all right so if we want to provide uh, this operator and uh, unary negation like basically negate the value uh, so in that case the and I, I will not even waste time actually typing it if this is inside of our class the member version of this overloaded operator would take no parameters because we already have the uh, the the uh, the operand this is this is our class this is an instance instance on which this operator was was called right but if we wanted to make this uh, unary negation a, uh, uh, a non-member uh, 
function, uh, then we would have to, uh, you know, basically take it. Well, I can may, may as well just do it uh, to demonstrate. In case if it's a non-member, uh, then uh, define it uh, so that it takes, uh, basically, it takes a parameter, right? So it takes a rational as a parameter. Uh, const reference to another rational. You, you can see how how mm, uh, 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 routinely I use references. I just say I do not want the compiler to make copies of my objects unless I want to make a copy. So therefore I use references all over the place because as soon as I add this little ampersand copying will not take place. I will be basically finding the original object uh, through the reference. So that is just a very straightforward uh, approach. It's, it looks a little fancy because in this function, I want to guarantee that, again, whatever rational I'm operating on, I am not modifying it. I will be producing brand new uh, temporary, temporary object with um, uh, modified, you know, negated, essentially. So let's try this uh, again with uh, global uh, functions like this, non-member functions. You cannot use const. Uh, so, uh, so let's see if this operator works if we define it. So then we go to our implementation file, of course. Right? And so over here, uh, we uh, again, this doesn't have to be qualified as part of the class. This is just a standalone uh, uh, function and uh, we can essentially what we can do is that we need to construct a rational out of this rats uh, numerator negated apparently and the same uh, denominator right so something like that so we construct it and we instantly return it we return we manufacture brand new object out of what we already have and uh, return it but of course uh, what the compiler will be unhappy is that again this is private and this is private and this has nothing to do with our class except that we take a parameter of this class so this needs to be a friend Right, so this guy needs to be uh, needs to be declared as a friend. Hopefully, this will work. And uh, what we could do in our code here is basically say, you know, cons construct red three with uh, like uh, red one negated, right? Because we already provided. Uh, negation through an overloaded operator. Let's try this and see what happens. Uh, all right, so the, remember this was 25, now it got reduced. So if we essentially uh, reduce it, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, so uh, what was happening is that um, Two five, th yeah. So, I mean, this this got you know kind of negated, but uh, let's let's do it in a more obvious manner. Basically, say rat three e uh, equals uh, rat uh, three uh, negated. How about this? Okay, so that that was negated and. And uh, as a result of us making a call to this uh, uh, overloaded operator, which basically made uh, the numerator negative and then uh, left alone this guy. So we got minus 5 divided by whatever we were divided by. Uh, something strange just happened. We never overloaded the assignment operator which was, all, of course, as an operator, but we never overloaded it. But we were able to use it. The reason is that for all objects, recall that unless you provide your own constructors, 
default constructor is provided. Same rule here. If, if you didn't provide the assignment operator, the assignment operator is provided. Um, we can try to avoid this by actually declaring an assignment operator right here private. We can say um, rational. I'll explain what, what this is all doing. Um, actually, let's let's save this piece because I want this to be part of one section in that recording. Let's save this piece. <coughs> 